Caffeine addiction and the benefits of quitting. Caffeine has many health benefits but, if you're dependent on it, there are side effects. Learn all about caffeine addiction and the benefits of quitting. Caffeine is the most widely consumed drug and mood-altering substance on the planet. Billions of people start the day with a caffeinated drink, coffee, tea, yerba mate, energy drinks, or soda, depending on your age bracket and where you live. You probably like the energy, drive, and focus that caffeine gives you. You may savor the taste, the aroma, and the ritual of your favorite caffeinated beverage. But not everyone reacts the same to this ubiquitous stimulant. Some people find that caffeine becomes something they need, rather than something they enjoy. If you feel like you depend on caffeine a little too much, you may have a caffeine addiction. But does caffeine addiction even exist? Is your dependence on caffeine doing you any real harm? Here's a look at what the latest research shows about caffeine addiction, the side effects of caffeine, and the best ways to quit. Is caffeine addiction a real disorder? Caffeine is a psychoactive drug that affects the central nervous system. If you've ever experienced caffeine withdrawal symptoms like headache, brain fog, or nausea, you may need no convincing that it's addictive. But for years the experts have disagreed as to whether caffeine is truly an addictive substance. Arguments that caffeine is not truly addictive include Unlike hardcore drugs, caffeine dependence does not ruin lives. Caffeine withdrawal is relatively short-lived and rarely serious compared to that of street drugs or addictive prescription drugs. The most popular caffeine delivery systems, coffee and various teas, have long histories of use and offer many health benefits. Consuming caffeinated drinks is not only socially acceptable, it's an integral thread in the tapestry of modern society. Imagine the chaos if Starbucks went on strike. Unfortunately, reputable sources are still supporting the opinion that caffeine is not truly addictive. For example, WEBMD.com states that caffeine addiction is a myth. But that is old news. Caffeine now meets the criteria for being an addictive substance, dependence, tolerance, and withdrawal. The World Health Organization recognizes caffeine addiction as a real disorder. The latest edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders DSM-5, the American Psychiatric Association's Standard Guide of Mental Disorders, now includes caffeine addiction and caffeine withdrawal as recognized mental disorders. Numerous studies have concluded that some caffeine users become genuinely addicted. I used to drink six cups of coffee a day probably helped drive my adrenals into exhaustion, along with other things of course. I decided it was time to stop and tried to quit cold turkey which led into crazy headaches. The way I managed to quit was dropping the caffeine to 3 cups a day, and 3 cups green tea a day then the following week 2 cups of coffee and 2 of tea. I would drink half a cup of coffee then fill it with more half water to give me the illusion of drinking more cups, eventually I was down to 1 cup of coffee and 1 of tea leading to 0 coffee 0 tea. It took about 3, 4 weeks and I didn't get any withdrawal at all. Now I manage to drink a couple cups of coffee on the weekend and keep it that way, just for the taste.